So I know a lot of people want to get into software development but they don't know where to start, what to learn and where to learn it. So by the end of this video you have answers to those questions. So let's get right into it. So with regards to where to start, so there are a lot of resources out there where you can learn software development for free and there are other ones that are paid for. So in my case I only learn software development through watching YouTube videos so that's my main focus of what i usually do when i want to learn something new but if you have money on the side of course you can do boot camps also you can do paid courses because they have a structure right with watching youtube videos on your own you have to actually create your own curriculum or have a structure of when to learn something and exactly what to learn right so the popular platforms that you can use to learn software development are freecodecamp.org that's for free you can learn software development on Coursera where you can pay a course to actually learn software development or web development. There's another one called Udemy but mostly I was using YouTube videos so that's how I was able to actually learn most of the technologies right. So now I'll be answering what to actually learn and when to actually learn it right. So the first thing you want to learn when you want to do software development is to learn HTML, right? The course that I've used to learn HTML is a course from a YouTube channel called LearnCode.Academy. So you can also use that course to learn CSS, right? But start with HTML. Don't get in the hurry of learning CSS because that's going to take you behind in learning HTML. So at least take a week learning HTML just learn the structure of how things are structured on a website learn how the different sections on a page are structured right so that will help you when you get into css to actually style everything nicely with a structure made already right so yeah learn html in a week then once you have html and you understand how things are working in html you don't necessarily need to learn everything because you can't really learn everything within a week you'll learn most of the things that you as you go forward as you're learning so just make sure that you spend the week learning html and mostly build projects right then once you have that down then you can start learning css so also don't try and learn everything in css there are other things that i have learned yet that i don't know of so as I'm watching tutorials related to CSS now, there are other things that are just coming up that I'm not familiar with. So you don't need to necessarily learn everything. You just need to have the things that are necessary for you to actually create a nice looking website, right? So with CSS, also just spend at least a week learning CSS, right? Just spend at least an hour trying to learn CSS, then another hour combining HTML and CSS to actually create nice looking websites, right? You're not going to create amazing website from the start, but it will get you closer to actually understanding the tool very nicely. Just at least spend one hour learning, then one hour building projects, right? In the third week, because we've already spent two weeks learning HTML and CSS, then in the third week, that's when you can jump in into learning a programming language like JavaScript, right? Because you can't escape learning JavaScript. As long as you want to do web development, then you need to learn JavaScript one way or the other, right? So the third week, focus on learning JavaScript. Don't try to learn everything. Try to learn as much as possible for you to create a functional website, right? I can't really get into specifics of what exactly to learn in JavaScript for you to say that you have enough, but if you can learn JavaScript and be able to actually like create a form like on a login page, and authenticate the user or for you to actually create a single page website then that's when you can actually say that you've learned enough like i said i'm always prioritizing an hour learning right so at least spend an hour learning javascript then that two hours spend actually building projects that include javascript in them then before you can learn any other thing just spend at least three weeks focusing on those three technologies that we've learned which is html css and javascript right don't be in a hurry of learning a javascript framework because that will really disappoint you because you'll find out that you don't really know much javascript right and of course javascript is a programming language it's not like html or css which are easier to learn so three weeks might not be an ideal case so you might spend at least a month actually learning JavaScript. So it might even take you about three months or even two months to actually learn JavaScript or any other programming language, right? Then in those two months or three months as you're learning JavaScript, make sure that you also learn Git and GitHub. This won't really take you a long time to learn, 
it might take you a week or even a day to actually learn git and github they are not really that complicated because they are not programming languages so yeah make sure that you learn git and github so that you can learn how to actually get your code in a cloud so that someone else can actually access their code because a lot of companies are actually looking for people who know git and github of course there are other version control systems but git and github are mostly popular then after learning javascript learn a css framework so i recommend you guys to actually learn sas it won't take you that much time to actually learn sas it may take you a day or two days to understand most things then after learning sas you can learn a javascript framework so three most popular frameworks that are available are react angular and Vue. right so i recommend you guys to learn react because it's most popular like a lot of companies are using react and of course there are companies which are still using angular because it's a big framework and it has a lot of things that come with it but i recommend you guys to learn react because even going forward a lot of companies are going to transition into react right then after learning react and you have some a bit of knowledge you can create a basic single page then that's when you can transition into learning react router to actually separate your pages then after learning react router just focus on learning redux which of course will take you a bit of time to learn because it has some functionality there there are things that are tied up together then after learning redux you have your front end skills but i recommend you guys to learn at least a design tool like figma which is what i've learned then just bonus technologies if you are interested in creating animations just learn gsap which is your to create animations like when you're scrolling there are things that are going to happen based on the scroll position so it's just javascript then also if you're interested in creating illustrations i recommend you guys to learn adobe illustrator which is mostly used by most people to actually create illustrations on a website so with regards to the amount of time you need to spend learning these things just spend at least one hour learning then two hours incorporating everything that you've learned in that tutorial that you chose to learn from right then with regards to actually when to actually start building a portfolio make sure you have as many projects available as possible you can't just build two projects then expect those projects to put them on your portfolio so you need to build as many projects as possible then that's when you can actually have a portfolio right it's not required to actually put all those projects like if you have 23 projects you don't need to put all of them on your portfolio right you only choose the ones that you're proud of then also the ones that you show that they have much functionality so yeah you focus on those ones and the ones that look nice so the reason i'm saying you should have a lot of projects already built is that you can have like a variety of projects to choose from so yeah that's gonna do it guys i hope i've answered those three questions and if you have any other question just write it down below and i'll be happy to answer your question or make a video on that question because other people might be interested in an answer to their question as well so yeah that's gonna do it guys thank you very much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and hit that bell icon so you get notified whenever i release new content and lastly like this video guys thank you guys so much for watching have an awesome day bye